So today we're going to look at an issue that plagues most Linux users of FS UAE, and that is the governor error that actually is displayed when you start the config. So when we actually start the config here, you'll see down the bottom the CPU scaling governor is power safe, not performance. Now this is because that Linux is in, in has got a power save in mode on there, which actually hits the CPU and makes it unstable puts it in unstable state and to make the CPU more stable we need to actually um, put it into performance mode and we can do this via the terminal here with this little command so if we enter this command and obviously because it's sudo we have to elevate our permissions then we put it in performance mode and you'll notice that when we go back into start the actual emulation you'll see the message no longer appears. So the CPU is now nice and stable and we're all okay. Problem is that when we restart the machine our power saving preferences are, are back into play and it causes the issue again. So what we need to do is actually um, make this permanent. So I'm just going to demonstrate what actually happens. So I'm basically simulating a reboot so I'm just going to put the state back into power safe and the minute we start this up again you'll notice that our message is back so how do we fix this if we jump over to the settings over the right hand side here and then FSUA and you want this use um, game mode optimized performance and if you click on the icon at the end and you'll have to enter your password to evaluate permissions you'll see that there's some instructions here of where to actually get the piece of software, which is very handy. So if we just jump over to this GitHub site, now this piece of software is extremely useful because if you're a gamer as well, uh, you can use your machine to, your Linux machine to actually run games and it will help that CPU to be in a much stable state. So, Here's a little bit of information for it, but to install it, we just run this command. Now, this isn't going to be easy going. There's going to be some issues that may come up, which I'll cover. Um, let me just run this command. So this command will run, and I've forgotten to put sudo in, sorry. Let me just place sudo in here, because we have to elevate those permissions. So that's installed almost. Just let it install. And there is another command that we have to run. If you can see here, you've been to Debian users, then you may need this. So I'm going to just run this anyway. So that's run. And now we need to actually run the git clone and compile the actual package so we'll just run this you haven't got git installed it's an easy install just at get installing git and you'll be able to run this so that's installed and you can see that the game mode directory has been made so i'm going to cd into this game mode directory and run the last command which is a git checkout see we can check out the 1.5.1 so here you go here we've got some errors so this is the problem we've got so um to make life easy for you, I've done a bit of research and I found that, first of all, the, the forums um, said run app install get, uh, game mode, which doesn't work. I'll just show you that. There we go. So that doesn't work. So the other way to actually solve the issue is to come down here you've got the sudo adapt rep repository here so this 
I know for a fact does work. So we start the our repository. And once that's completed, we do a sudo apt update. Come on. Just wait for this to finish. So we just do a sudo apt update on here. And then a sudo apt get install actual piece of software that's causing the issue so messen's going in and this is the problem that's uh, the problematic piece of software that's uh, actually causing the problems and then we do the the final script And as you can see, this is actually working now. So this is actually compiling correctly and we should be good to go. So if I press start now, you can see our message has disappeared. So we're finally there. So a few problems there actually installing the piece of software to actually get it up and running. And we finally got uh, the actual the actual uh, FSA UA sorted. So these are the commands you need to run so if you run into a problem, just run these and you should be okay.